Okay, so let's take our first question in the Zulu question series in the Jeppesen test guide. Page 5-9, question 5-25. So when you see your question, take your scrap piece of paper, just put it near your question, and read through. An aircraft departs an airport in the Eastern Daylight Time Zone of 0945 Eastern Daylight Time. So we write down 0945, and very importantly, write down Eastern Daylight Time. Very important. The next thing is, it says it's in for a two-hour flight to an airport somewhere else. I don't care where the somewhere else is right now. We just know that he's going to be on that plane for two hours. So we add two hours on to the originating time. So that's from 945 to 1145. 1145 what? 11:45 Eastern Daylight Time. Very simple so far. He got on the plane at 9:45 in the morning. He was on the flight for 2 hours. He's off at 11:45 just before lunch somewhere else in the world. But according to the Eastern Daylight Time, it's 11:45 Eastern Daylight Time. Now we read on. It says he flew to an airport located in the Central Daylight Time Zone. So you're going to need to convert the Eastern Daylight Time to the Central Daylight Time. So I usually just write that down so I don't forget. And then we go to our chart that we memorized. And here is the chart. And you look at the chart, it says Daylight Savings Time, uh, Central Daylight Time, and Eastern Daylight Time. Forget about these numbers to the right. That's only when you're going to convert to Zulu time. Right now, we just want to convert Eastern Daylight Time to Central Daylight Time. Since they're right next to each other, they're only one hour apart. So, since you're going west, uh, uh, the Central Daylight Time is one hour west of Eastern Daylight Time. If it was mountain, it would be two hours west. If it was Pacific, it would be three hours west. So, we know we have to subtract one hour from the Eastern Time to get the central time. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to 1145 minus one hour gives us 1045 central daylight time. But that's not the answer yet because they're asking for the landing should be at what coordinated universal time. Coordinated universal time is just another name for Zulu time. So now we have to convert the 1045 to Zulu time. Very simple. Just go back to the chart here, under the Daylight Savings Time. You're in the Central Daylight Savings Time. So what you're going to do is simply add 5. You add 5. You're always adding to convert from local time to Zulu. So you just simply add 5 hours. So you add 5 hours. To the Central Daylight Time. And what are you left with? You're left with 1545 Zulu. That's your answer. And sure enough, if you look over here, there it is right there, 1545 Zulu. Look at the answer over here. The answer is C, 1545 Zulu. And it's as simple as that. So you remember, you want to work in local time as much as possible, and then just do the simple conversions. We'll do another one.